we are going to the Big Apple, to the heart of New York City, Manhattan. Home to the one of the world's best restaurants, EMP, 11 Madison Park. In this channel, I take you to some of the world's most exclusive three Michelin star restaurants. My name is Alexander, I'm the co-owner of a one Michelin star restaurant. Welcome to Alexander the Guest. EMP sits on the ground floor of the MetLife Building North. This building was designed to be the tallest in the world back in 1928, but with the Great Depression, they stopped after 30 floors. In 2006, Swiss chef Daniel Hum and front of house specialist Will Gidara joined the team and started to shake things up. In his book, Unreasonable Hospitality, Will records one of their first reviews of the restaurant in the New York Observer back in 2006. I highly recommend his book. The critics said EMP needed a bit of Miles Davis. They really took it to heart and Miles Davis became a guiding light. They came up with a list of 11 words to describe Miles Davis that became touchstone words for the restaurant. It transformed everything. In 2010, EMP received the first Michelin star. Then in 2012, they went directly to three stars. An exceptional achievement. The last time a restaurant got three stars within two years was back in the 80s. Then in 2017, 11 Madison tops the world's 50 best restaurants list. It seemed nothing could stop them. Then the pandemic. They closed the doors. Another challenge. Chef Daniel Hume rises to it and opens 11 Madison Park as a community kitchen. They serve over a million meals to New Yorkers who need food. When it was time to reopen in 2021, Chef Hum decides to focus on a new challenge. Scrap the old menu and totally redesign it. This time, 100% plant-based. The world is changing and the food system is changing and the climate is changing. And I felt like I had a responsibility to use this platform, to use my voice. To go fully plant-based seems like a brave but risky move. But the chef went for it and put all three of EMP's Michelin stars on the line. Then, in October 2022, the Michelin Guide makes their decision. 11 Madison Park, Chef Daniel Ho! EMP would not lose any of their stars. That made 11 Madison Park the first vegan three Michelin star restaurant in the world. We arrive at 11 Madison Park on a snowy, windy day. Finding the entrance was a little tricky for me, but I found it. Right away, my wife, daughter, and I feel how special this space is. The first thing we notice is the towering ceiling over 10 meters tall. The space is elegantly designed with beautiful wood and stonework with dramatic light and modern art. They have a piece by New York artist Rashid Johnson. This is called The Broken Four. We are seated by a warm, friendly woman and are given our options for the evening. We go for the full nine-course tasting menu. I'm not a vegan by any means, but I'm super curious about this all-planned menu and looking forward to it. For drinks, we try some fruity and alcoholic cocktails, but I'm all about the wine. The wine list was impressive and included some great selections. 11 whites and 11 reds. By the glass, 11. It's all in the details. The sommelier is personable and took all the time we needed. We go for a Batar Mon Rocher 2017, as this was a great year both for the wine and the restaurant. The Amis Bush arrives. It's a radish soup with a spicy note that got my attention. They keep the radish theme going with the first course. A radish tea and dumpling. Great table side presentation here and a powerful start. Next is a winter radish with sea fennel and mint that was also super flavorful. After that was something really interesting. It's called tambourine the edible seeds of the cypress tree. It's also known as land caviar. It has the pop and feel of a caviar too. It's paired with beetroot and horseradish cream. It's fascinating and totally new for me. So far the service has been attentive and happy. You stand up and someone is right there to help you with whatever you need. You draw a napkin, someone is right there with a new one. The next two courses were with potato and black truffle from France. It's creamy gives it a rich, complex umami flavor. The menu is complex and magnificent so far, with lots of umami flavor. But 
the aroma profile of my 2017 Buttermon Rocher doesn't always work. The sommelier has an excellent recommendation, a beautiful Pinot Noir. The next is shiitake mushrooms with rice, sensual peppercorn and pesto. The flavors are out of this world and very interesting with the Pinot. The presentation is original and refreshing. There is some tweezer work, but the dishes are not over-decorated. Each dish is like a piece of modern art. I just wish the lights were a bit brighter, so I could see the food in its full glory. Before dessert, we are surprised with the tour of the kitchen and reminded of who drives innovation at EMP. Miles Davis was born in 1926 and is widely regarded as the most influential jazz musician of all time. He spent more than 25 years in New York City and recorded many of his most important albums here. The top 11 words that define Miles Davis still hangs in the kitchen and they still live by them today. Inspiring indeed! We had a special treat, maple syrup over snow. Not to worry, the snow isn't from the streets of New York, she said. It's actually made from apples and pears. It was a nice change from sorbet, a really creative palate cleanser. Back at our table, they serve dessert. Apple with tonka bean ice cream, followed by a citrus dish with apricot cream and mandarin. Simple and amazing. You might be wondering how EMP can manage without traditional kitchen staples like butter and cream. They work closely with a Brooklyn biotech company called Kingdom Supercultures and use science to create vegan substitutes that are just as flavorful. The total price for the three of us came to just over 3000 US with tax. And now for my final thoughts on 11 Madison Park. A bit dark for me, but the atmosphere manages to be warm and inviting, but upscale and refined at the same time. The service was excellent. The team is highly trained and always ready to help. They are professional, yet warm and welcoming. I love that. The food. At first, I was a little skeptical about this menu. I was worried they might try to imitate other foods like I have seen elsewhere. Not here. It's new, original concept. As a meat eater, I was absolutely amazed. Sitting there, a thought flashed through my mind. The chef, Daniel Hun, is a genius. He is truly a trailblazer of cuisine, the magician in the kitchen, proving that plant-based can exist at the three Michelin star level. His flavor combinations are intense and each dish presented like a piece of modern art. Magnificent. To think this journey all started with a restaurant critic. It proves that inspiration can come from unlikely places. And for me, this experience has definitely been an inspiring one. And that does it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. See you next time. You can call me stupid.